So, how are we gonna work this? I can't keep coming here to see you. Mm, same with you with your place. Yeah, Stacy's staying in the hotel now. We could try to get away, go somewhere for a night. I can make up some story for my family. I know this little inn on the way up to the mountain. It's so beautiful. We can make up fake names. No. You don't want to? I want to be with you. I want to make love with you, but I don't want to sneak around and hide. I, I want to hold your hands in the movies. I want to take your kids out for pizza, but I can't. Maybe it's better that, uh, that it worked out this way. What are you saying? You think we're a mistake? I will check on the children regularly while they are with Todd. I promise you. But short of that, Dorian, there's nothing I can do. You're as bad as John McBain. How so? He promised when he married Blair that he would protect her children. And what did he do? He got himself arrested oh, for come murder. On. Come on, you don't for a second believe that he murdered people or stabbed Blair. No, no, absolutely not. But he, he, he bolted. He's now a fugitive. And, 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 and he should have stayed here and faced the charges against him. And now Blair's more worried about him than she is about herself. Excuse me. Hello. Mrs. Davidson, it's John McBain. Are you alone? This is not happening. It's not happening! Okay, hold on. We can get through this. Or you can always get me to do it for you. That's what friends are for, right? Taking drug tests for your buddy? Or at least that's what I do. But you do it. You fed me some crap story about taking something for your headache. That's why you couldn't do your own drug test. And I went with it. Totally bought that you weren't still using. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I screwed up. It's all on me. No, it's on me too. Because I was the one who believed you. Now Lola knows. She's trying to pin me for it. Do you know what's gonna happen if this gets out? I can forget college. I'm going to jail. Like you give a damn. Oh, I do! I used to believe that. You were like my brother. But all you cared about were your stupid pills. I don't. I don't! I hate them. I'm trying. I'm trying not to want them anymore, but I need, I need you. I need you, you and Star. Star? No, I don't think so. You had your chance with her, buddy. You screwed it up. Pushed her away. Right into my loving arms. What do you mean? What worst possible thing did you do? I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to get you back. Just like you do for everyone else that screws with you. Are, are you talking about the... Uh... My baby. Giving her to Marcy. That's why I did it, huh? To get back at me. I knew that she would be a wonderful mother. Toho, I knew that. And I convinced myself that that was the only reason. But why? Out of all the people in the world who could have, who could have, who I could have chosen to uh, adopt my baby, I chose Marcy, the one person in the world who you hate the most. And maybe I, I thought that I was, I was gonna give her hope to make up for what you did with her, with Sam. But maybe it wasn't that maybe, just maybe. There was a little piece of me that wanted you to see your granddaughter with Marcy every day to remind you what you did calling me. I don't think you're that spiteful. Maybe I'm a tip off the old block, Dad. Have you ever thought about that? I would never say that you're a mistake. But, you know, being forced to take things slow for people like us <laughs> might not be such a bad thing. I don't want to rush you into anything you're not ready for. So how long do you think we need to wait before we see each other again? I think that we should wait at least until tomorrow. There is nothing more that I can do. Excuse me. No, excuse me. I'll now go tell Blair that her children are gone.
Yes, John. Or should I say that you changed your name to Kevin? So you heard about that? Hmm, a Miss Kwan from the Sitwell Institute just phoned me to tell me that my children, Kevin and Jessica, were there to visit Powell. So what do you know about that? Maybe it's better if you don't know. Was that Dorian I heard in the background? Yes, Todd has custody of the children. I was afraid that would happen. So why did you leave? I'm being set up for these murders, Mrs. Davidson. Well, Bob's not going to let that happen. Not if I find the killer first. Hopefully before he gets a chance to kill again. Why did you call me? Well, I needed some information about your cousin, Powell Lord. Besides Marty or Todd, there was anyone that played a big part in his life. Maybe a woman? I haven't thought about Powell in, in years. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, there was someone. I know Mr. Lord never responds when you see him, Dr. Saybrook, but he always seems so much more relaxed after he's been with you. I want to thank you for your help, Mrs. Davidson, and I'd, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this call to anyone. You know, the police are looking for Marty, too. I can only assume that the Jessica who went with Kevin was... Marty safe. Thanks again. What'd you find out? There was a woman in Powell's past. Her name's Rebecca Lewis. Rebecca? Rebecca Lewis doesn't ring any bells. I don't remember my own son's father. Uh, who is she? Vicky said that she and Powell were engaged before he went off the deep end, and apparently this Rebecca was also involved with Todd. Oh, great. Well, she must know all about me, then. What do we do now? Find Rebecca Lewis. What time tomorrow? Well, let me get things squared away with the kids and then I'll call you. Okay. Yes, you are. You are finally. Oh, there you are. You okay? You look flushed. I, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, uh, I haven't felt this good in a long time. Oh, must be spring. You look like you're positively glowing. What was that? Dr. Rebecca Lewis. Mm. What was her specialty? Doesn't say. She was at the same hospital until she suddenly quit about six months ago. That's it. That's all there is. Well, what do we do now? Well, I got a couple contacts at the bureau. Maybe one of them can tell us what Rebecca's been doing the last six months. I heard you had family visiting today. It wasn't family, it was Marty. Marty? Could she know? Relax, Rebecca, she isn't on to a thing. Who was the guy claiming to be Kevin Buchanan? Must be John McBain. He's smart. He's an ex-cop. I knew he'd end up following the trail here, which is exactly where I want him.